Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before us we have the Roland CR1000 Digital Drummer, a pre-programmed drum machine with some features that make it somewhat versatile and usable. And you have a grid system and you can go through and see the variations. I don't get disco too. Doesn't sound disco. The middle row sucks, so we're going to skip that. Okay, so going back to the first row, actually, we'll hit the middle row, but we're going to speed it up so it goes faster. Okay, so back to the first row. One of the things that uh, goes under the radar with this machine, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, but when you change any of these settings, the changes follow the pattern even after you've left the pattern. And the easiest way to demonstrate this is by adjusting the shuffle to a usable level. And then I'll go to a rock two. Okay, you see rock two is not shuffled. Rock three is also still not shuffled. So we're gonna adjust this again. We'll go a little bit extreme here to demonstrate this. So if I go back to rock two, still straight time. Now go back to rock one. We left it in shuffle. And there it is. Even if I go back to rock two, straight. Go back to rock one. It remembers that it was shuffling the last time we played it. So all you gotta do is just touch it again and it goes back to straight time. And see, rock three is still shuffling. So, cool feature. So on the CR1000, you have one output, mono output, but you have a mixer section. So you have bass drum, snare, rim, hand clap all in one, timbale, tom-tom, cymbal, hi-hat, conga, and claves, and cowbell on one. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to hit the clap because you can add hand clap to any one of these independently. But it's also, so if we adjust that level, obviously we're going to lose our snare, rim, or hand clap. So on each one of these, you have a variation. And the symbols are awful on the CR1000. So if we shuffle this one, and then turn off the variation, we're still straight time. It only remembers the shuffle on the pattern that you left the shuffle on.
still shuffled. So that gives you a lot of ability to make some different patterns by either setting your shuffle different. It'll even save accent settings or save your mix. So let's go to rock three and take the hi-hat out. Back to rock one, hi-hat's in. So you can use that as a variation in your song, if you wish, by taking the hi-hat out. So then we'll go back here, we'll add it back in. It's always too high at the full level, so I always leave it almost off. Let's go over to Disco here. Go to the Variation. Take that out. Putting the shuffle to the extreme is always fun because it just completely messes up the whole pattern. But it can actually have some use if we go back to rock, go to samba. You can change the samba into a straight time so it can be a variation on rock by, let's take out So if we go back to rock, so you can kind of use it as a drum fill. So let's speed this up.
So as you can see, we can manipulate the CR1000 by changing the shuffle level or the mix on each of the individual patterns to create new patterns and get some new flavor from this simple pre-programmed digital drummer. So um, these are a lot of fun. And uh, I got this one on eBay for less than $100. Um, and actually, it, it came with a little a DJ mixer. It was thrown in for free. So um, for 85 bucks, I got this and an Audio-Technica DJ mixer. Um, a lot of times, these go for a little over 100 maybe $150. Um, this one, perfect condition. Um, can't complain. Very fun machine. Um, sounds good. Uh, it has the similar sounds to the 505 uh, by Roland. Um, it's punchy. Um, I always leave the accent up almost full or full. Um, otherwise, as you can see, it's pretty flat. And there's no life in it. So always leave that accent up. And of course, remember that also remembers that level. Which can give you a little bit more flavor. Nice punch. The uh, hi-hat gets clipped on the beginning of that because the accent shut off. It remembered that I turned the snare or the rim off so we couldn't hear those claps. And there you have it, the CR1000. Uh, just a quick video. Um, not going to go through all the features on this. This has uh, MIDI in, MIDI out, um, which is nice. Um, you can actually get these drum sounds on, on a keyboard um, and play them manually if you really wanted to uh, play the sounds from this drum machine by themselves. Actually, it makes it easier if you're sampling individual drums. Um, it also uh, syncs to external clock, which is pretty cool. Um, so a, a great low-cost drum machine. You can get these for about a hundred bucks. Like I said, with a with a DJ mixer, I got this for like eighty bucks shipped. So couldn't go wrong with that. Um, I like the sound. So it's nice and punchy. So hope you like the video. I have more drum machines and more videos coming up. Uh, hopefully soon, uh, later this year. And remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.